Hello everyone, welcome back to Victoria 3 A to Z. We're on part two because I already did part one and I know how to count, so part two. Alphabetically speaking, the next nation we will be playing is, as presented to you, a Choli down here in Africa. Now, I did research this time. Everybody says it's pronounced a choli, so if I'm wrong, you can call me a dipshit in the comments below. But now we got to do this. So I have absolutely no idea how I'm gonna make this work. Our last country was a one-state nation, but they at least had C access. In this one, we do not. So I don't know how this is gonna work, but I'm thinking we're gonna have to do some colonialism if we're going to become even remotely a major power. So, our last country was 191st on the list, this one is 207. In the grand scheme of things, that makes us, um, almost the worst. We gotta, we haven't got to Bahrain yet, but I can't wait. Alright, so what do we do with Acholi? Let's see how our tech is. Oh my god. Oh. Oh! It's terrible! <laughs> oh no, okay. So... We're gonna need to put some forethought into this. Right off the bat, we definitely need to go take all of these guys and we gotta start building up. We gotta get our population up as fast as possible. So, uh, what do we even do? Let's see, realism. That gives me access to schools. Hmm, okay, this is gonna be interesting. I'm thinking, try and get down to medical degrees so we can at least get a health institution going. That way we can, you know, at least live a little bit more than what we're doing right now. Military, I don't really think it's gonna matter. As long as we get rich, we'll be able to beat up our friends. So, I think we go society on this one. I, I think that's the way to do it. I'm gonna go right down to medical degrees so we can try and get health so that we can get our population up. Okay, now the government. Let's check government. It's gonna be basically all landowners right now, and there's no laws we can pass anyway, so... Oh god, this is going to be fun! I guess let's unpause and start building stuff. We have no buildings. There is not a single building in this whole damn thing, so I guess we start with, uh... All right, livestock. Livestock, and we... We can't even build any buildings yet, oh my god. Uh, this is gonna, this is gonna be great. I don't even know how I'm gonna make this work. I'm gonna have to do something with it. So, I guess we'll start building, I mean, our population. Unemployment is insignificant because everybody's a peasant. So, honestly, cut taxes down. Military wages can go up. I might build a government building so I can get this up so I can get a little more authority. Decrees, do we, we can't even do road maintenance yet. We can do promote social mobility and encourage our agricultural throughput, okay? And I guess that's something. Are we isolationist? We are isolationist. This sucks. This might be the worst start I've ever seen. Uh, I say that, but, 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 we got other nations we're gonna have to play as down here and it's gonna get very repetitive very quick. All right, people need to get a job here. So fabric is now being produced. We don't really have a use for it. I'm gonna do millet farming and maybe sugar and tea. Man, I really don't know how we're gonna do this. We can't build any urban buildings right now. Holy crap, that's awful. I don't know how we're gonna make this work. I really do not know if we can make this work. We're gonna have to do something. I mean, I guess we'll be sitting here a while. We got some loyalists, so that's a good start. Hmm, he's authoritarian and he's in charge, so it's not like we can pass any laws anyway. We're kind of just stuck doing nothing right now, so I guess it's just me and you until we can actually make this work. We're gonna just build some, I don't know, build stuff until we can't anymore. I mean, we got, we got meat in our economy. Now let's try and get our standard of living up because that's probably about the only thing we really can do. So we need more grain looks like. We need grain to be, yep, okay, so actually no liquor, clothes, we can't do anything. We can't trade with anyone. Hum, 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 hum. Vineyard, that we can get some alcohol. Maybe that'll help people uh, forget about their troubles. Millet farming, we can't do any of this stuff right now. It wouldn't, it wouldn't even bother. We have 13 arable land to use. We could do wood stuff, but I don't know what we're gonna use wood for at this point. God damn, there's there's nothing to do. Hmm, okay, well unlock manufacturing, that'll at least give us, okay, that'll give us our first step. We'll be able to actually build some stuff. We are gonna run out of population very quickly. That is gonna be a huge problem for us. We are 198th right now. 
I think, I think it might be in our best interest to build up a military and go conquer our neighbors down here, because no one else can really get involved. If we have a bigger military than they do, dang, he's already got 11. They've started building up immediately. That's going to be a problem for us. 196, but we could conquer some of these smaller states. Hmm, okay. I said we build up for now. Standard of living is going up a little bit. Just keep building, get everybody like employed and shit. We'll be okay. Sugar, we have no use for sugar. That's a problem. Can I even improve? I can improve relations with Britain, okay. That might be a play for later because if they're gonna be the ones to colonize here, we're gonna get a border with them first. If we can be friendly with them, you know, get them into our, or not, not even get them into our market, if we can get into their customs union, that's gonna be the best thing for us. We'll be able to conquer all this stuff down here. Maybe get some colonization going because we need to at least get a border with somebody else for some sort of expansion. Oh, we could ban slavery or at least try to. Hmm, 14% chance to pass. If we could do that early, that would be really nice. All right, uh, standard of living has dropped again. I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, it's a bad thing though. Okay. I think for right now, let's just build one of everything and we'll see what everybody wants. Market access, market price. What's expensive? Luxury clothes, uh, liquor. What makes liquor? I forgot, it's food industries. We, well, we don't have one of those yet. Maybe it'd be better to just go straight for that? Rationalism. This would give us education, which would be good, but we'd also have to drop our religious laws. We have state religion, we'd have to get to freedom conscience. Everything's problematic right now. No possible country formation, so that's great. Any specific journal entries? Nope, not for us. All right, what's expensive? Where, what is making this? Sub subsistence farms is making alcohol. Okay, so a lot of our subsistence farms is building a lot of the stuff that we need right now. It's interesting. GDP is going up at least, so that's that's a positive. I'm gonna build one of those. And honestly, honestly, I might just go big into building up some troops and go conquer our neighbors. That might be the best thing for us right now. Mmm, we don't have enough people who could work that, unfortunately. I'm gonna hold off, I think. I'm gonna hold off on going big militarism just yet. Yeah, no, I think this is like the worst start in the whole game. Probably this area. I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, Buganda is probably a much better start than uh, Achole is. All right, nationalism. We can think now. What does that mean for our government? Okay, there's still a lot of things we could pass, but we can't. Um, we can't do religious schools yet because we must have, um, what is it? It's, uh, this one. We gotta have that passed, but nobody supports it, so I don't know how we're gonna do that. I don't know how any of this is gonna work. I'm gonna be dead honest. You know, scratch this. I'm gonna go for manufacturers first, because I feel like that's the biggest thing we need, and then we'll take medical degrees afterwards. Because being able to actually get some bit of manufacturing is gonna be really big for us, because we, we actually have a decent amount of infrastructure here. It's not, it's not terrible. We get a little bit. Fortunately, all our people are dying, because uh, apparently this is dropping way down. I'm not sure why that is, but uh, whatever. Okay, why is this dropping? Why is the standard of living dropping so hard, huh? I see, I think I get it, okay. We're gonna stop that then. Cause these things don't make the things that people actually want, I see. If we're using arable land for that, okay, I think I get it now. So we really need that food manufacturing place. That's gonna be a huge ordeal, we really need this one. We're gonna have to get off of isolationism at some point and go mercantilism, but the thing is like, nobody supports anything in our government. All these guys are like, they're, they're all marginalized. What is this? Land reformer, huh, cool. Anyway, doesn't matter until we can like get to the point where we can do literally anything. Our GDP is going up at least, so I mean, I guess that's a thing. All right, population's going up. Yeah, we really need to get our population up. That is like our biggest hindrance right now. I think in the meantime, we'll just build a logging cabs because we will need them eventually. Just not yet, really. We can't even build bureaucratic buildings yet. We haven't invented bureaucracy. Holy shit, I love this country already. What's going on everywhere else? Ottoman religious revolt? Cool. Prussia doing something? Cool. How's everybody else doing? Alright, they got a revolt, that's fine. El Salvador? Okay. Not bad, not bad. It's probably gonna blow up in a minute, but uh, sure. Los Altos? 
interesting. If nothing else, our GDP is going up. That's that's pretty good. And our you know our education is getting better. Our standard of living has gone back up. It's actually above what it used to be now. So uh huh. Cool. All right, manufacturers unlocked. Let's get a food industry built. It's gonna take 55 weeks, which is basically forever, but we'll get it done eventually. I don't know how we have <laughs> such a high standard of living right now. I really don't. I don't know how this works, but I'll take it. I will take it indeed. We could already drop down to appointed bureaucrats. That could be helpful. It's either that or past theocracy. That would be interesting. I don't know, what, what does that really like do for me? I don't know if that's helpful or not, but maybe? Still 28 weeks. Man, I love waiting in this game. We can barely do anything, but we're gonna make it work. I swear to God, I will make this work somehow. Some way, I will, I will fathom a way to make this work. Luo. Oh, so we have some homeland territories. Oh, okay, so we could actually colonize these places faster, I believe. I don't know how we're gonna get down to colonization. We gotta get frontier colonizing. We have to invent colonization, which means, where's colonization at? It's over here, it's gonna take a second. That might be helpful to get, actually. Man, it's gonna take us so long to get caught up in tech. I don't know if we will get completely caught up in tech. We probably won't. <gasps> Our food industry is almost done, only eight weeks. That means only two months before people can eat food. Yes, I love food. God damn, food is so good. Four weeks, three weeks, two weeks, one weeks, food industries. Let's go, dude, I love food so much. God damn. Thank you, I got myself some food. All right, now we're also gonna build some clothes. Let's, that's right, clothes. You've never seen clothes this big before. All right, so food industry. Uh, looks like we don't actually need food that much. People don't really want it. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We, we, we didn't need food anyway. All right, mill of farming. That's gonna give this some more productivity because we're actually using our food for other things. This is, you know, it's gonna be a little productive right now. We gotta get a use for our fabric, I believe, which is why I'm going to try and build this textile mill because then we can make clothes. GDP is going up. Our standard of living is actually really high still for like no reason. We got a lot of loyalists. Everybody, you know, likes us for the most part. We could try and pass appointed bureaucrats, but I just, I don't know, I don't, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Sure, why not? Gives us something to do at least. I'm already bored out of my mind, which means I'm starting to get rambly. And there's already an insurrection. Like, two, two minutes late. Okay. They become radical. That was everybody. How many slaves are in this country? That was like 20% of everybody. Are, is half the population in slavery? What kind of government am I running? All right, all right, all right. Chance. We don't need bureaucracy. Let's get this bad boy passed. It's fared poorly. You fared poorly, bitch. Alrighty, we're getting our textile mills passed. Oh, red tape. Nightmare success chance going up. We get 22% chance to pass. We, dang, we get our laws passed like really quick because we have like no taxes right now. Come on, I need to get built up so I can go conquer this little, I don't know, what do you call this? The African, like, I don't know, something. Oh, no, okay, we passed. All right, all right. And we're almost got this done, which means we'll be able to build something else. Probably tooling workshops, maybe? Or furniture. Furniture would probably be better, to be honest. Population, unemployment is insignificant, but people can work here now and get a good job, which is really nice for us. Looks like there's some combat going over yonder. Okay. Oh, we actually got it. Holy crap, that was easy. Okay, not bad. Uh, the rural folk are in here now. We can use them to pass laws. We can go back to hereditary, but I don't want to do that. Uh, I guess we're just waiting on some actual better laws to pass. And we're waiting for stuff to build. All right, this got built. So this should, yeah, everyone's going to have some really kick-ass clothes here in a minute. We don't have any uh, special fabric, so that sucks. But now, ooh, look at this, look at this, number 33 in the world. It's actually nice, nope, number 29 in the world. It is nice living in Acholi. All right, uh, I guess furniture manufacturing next. Let's do it. Let's just keep building. We'll get some manufacturers going so we can, you know, make some stuff. GDP's going up. We are synergizing off of our stuff. Let's go. We got meat for everybody. We got this stuff. 
what is expensive in our market now? Chairs. So let's, you know, we're building our chair manufacturing. We're going to have to do some stuff. Now we need to find a use for this, but I think these are just consumer goods, except for the sugar. Die works accident. Uh, sure. We'll boost that. Dang, number 19 in the world already. We get to number one just like this. Man, our people got it good compared to like everybody else. All right, all right, okay. So now th we we can't do this yet. Yeah, cause we gotta we gotta pass one of these. But there's zero percent chance for it to pass because the intelligentsia are marginalized. That's okay. I'm trying to get down to the health system mainly. Yeah, we just need medical degrees. So once we hit medical degrees, that's this one. Then we'll come back over and get to colonization because then we can do some expansion because all of this is homeland territory, which means I think we can incorporate it much faster than everybody. I think it just means we get to ignore malaria, which ignoring malaria this early on would be really nice for us. All right, 200K, not bad, dude. Honestly, honestly, this might work. Ooh, hmm, I think we're pretty high now. Eh, let's do that one. We'll get more loyalists instead of less radicals. That should work. Number 21 in the world. What's our GDP per capita? Number 80. Not good, actually. Actually very bad. Literacy rates going up. I like it. Are there any other decrees I can do yet? Not yet. If I could get road maintenance, that would be really nice. Or I guess not like really nice, but it, it'd be pretty cool. Gunsmithing. We, we know what guns are now. Let's go. We can smith ourselves some guns. What's the highest standard of living in the world? Lanfang. I don't know why Lanfang always has such... What the hell? What happened here? The, the East Indies got liberated? Huh. Peasants Revolt versus East Indies. Oh, no. They're still subject under, I think. I don't know. Who knows? East Indies. Wait, no. East... Are they free? Yeah, I think they're free. They're just the East Indies now. They got liberated from the Dutch. Huh. That's wacky. I didn't know that would happen. Okay. Things are going pretty good. I think I'm going to build a tooling workshop next. Because then we can put some of our wood to use. I don't know what we're doing with wood right now, but we could do other stuff with our wood. Yeah, I think we've run into the problem of just not having enough people now. I would love to make you all some liquor, but we cannot yet. Local police force. Well, you know, that's that's a really good idea. You know, local police force. Oh, actually, I can pass that. Huh, I didn't know that. Should I do it? I think it makes them, like, really like me if I do it. So, yeah, let's try it. We don't have any police right now. I don't think we really need police, to be honest, but it's fine. All right, got some chairs going. We're using fabric to make chairs. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so now bananas. Man, everybody loves their damn bananas. Six prestige, we're doing good. This is really good. Okay, I think we should build another millet farm after tooling workshops. And I guess since that one's profitable and this one's profitable, we'll just do all that. Dang, 11, dude. Our standard of living is actually really high. I, I'm not really sure why it's this high, but dude, bet. Honestly, I love it. I love to see it. Government petition. What happens if we do it? Landowner, member, pops, become more loyalist, and we get, oh, plus 10 legitimacy for nine years. Man, it's a good thing we, oh, we actually do have some problems with legitimacy. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. GDP per capita has actually gone up pretty nice. I, it, number 64 in our standard of living is number nine in the world already. Damn. I feel bad for the rest of the world. Is that, is that a bad thing? Like, I feel like the standard of living should be higher than this. Maybe that's just me. Acholi has good standard of living. Still don't really have, oh no, we could build something here. A close, too close a call. Okay, so what happens here? Um, Political strength and approval. Uh, sure, what, whatever. They'll lose all their influence once I get rid of all of the, uh, the arable land. Yeah. I think I could also build a more irregular infantry. I'm gonna queue two more i think we have enough for that but i do want to finish this guy first and then we'll move on to the other two local police force government petition successful that means we got more legitimacy and now we also can't pass any more laws because there's nothing that we, we just haven't thought of the laws yet there's nothing to pass because we can't think of laws to pass great idea and that made the standard of living go down damn womp womp okay so actually do we need tools we have 
No use for tools, but we think we could use it here in the millet farm because this only takes wood to make tools. Now tools are expensive and prestigious six. So I guess it's been the same thing over and over. Standard of living is still decently high. If we can get everybody using tools, we can use other people to work in different areas. Yes, okay. Things are working as planned, I believe. We should have, how many tools do we need? Looks like we only need the one right now. So and we got it. We got our one hammer being used. Yep, okay, good, good, 300K. GDP is still going up really strong. I'm kind of shocked. Population, there's 18K peasants left, okay? Not bad, not bad. Just gotta keep dropping this. Once there's all, once all the arable land's gone, the subsistence farms will be gone and there's gonna be no more alcohol anywhere. We're enforcing prohibition in Acholi. I'm shocked our GDP is as high as it, as it is. I, I do not feel like it should be this high, but I, I guess, I don't know, what do I know? Dang, our growth rate, population growth rate, is actually really good for as big as we are. Huh, not bad. You think I got, hmm, I think I got, yeah, I think I could build some more, uh, let's build five more. Let's get our military booming. Okay, so they've dropped off. I think we might be about time to go and do some conquest. Hmm? Conquest? I know you guys like to see conquest happening. I like you, you all like to see those nice borders for the YouTube thumbnails. Depending on how fast we are able to colonize, this could actually end up being a pretty fun run. Also, medical degrees. So, okay, can we now pass this? Charity hospitals, let's do it. I think we can, let's do that. All right, now we're on the way to colonization. Building up our military, we got six battalions. Problem is if I fight one of these guys, I don't really wanna use all my people because, uh, well, it's kind of hard to get more people back at the moment. Okay, Nagman success chance, and Nagman success chance. Honestly, to get charity hospitals, that gives us 47% chance and we only lose like 200 that we weren't using anyway. I think this is a solid plan. How is our infrastructure? So infrastructure, we're getting close to that kind of hard wall. So power projection is 56. Theirs is 36. We actually have eight prestige now. We are climbing the ranks, okay? In the hands of me, I will turn anybody into a great power. Now, all I'm waiting for is to get down to colonialism or colonization, I guess. We've almost invented democracy and we're probably not gonna use it once we get it, to be honest. But hey, we will we'll know what it is. GDP per capita is now number 44. Things are actually looking pretty good now. Standard of living is actually, okay, they're struggling right now, but it is actually getting pretty high, I think. People have money to do stuff. Okay, grain is still expensive. That could be a problem. What is this? Try to offer help, and Agma success chance goes up. Ooh, I don't really want to do that uh, with the mortality. Just get that up to 57% chance. We'll get it. That'll get the standard of living higher. That'll get the mortality down. We are going to be good. We're going to start flowing through, and then once we get colonization, we're going to be able to expand more. Let's do that. We can't do another level of it, but I see. I think that's gonna make the their standard of living go up. If that's, I think that's how that works. I don't exactly remember, I'm gonna be honest. But that should bring the mortality rate down. Yep, it did. Okay, so now our growth rate's 1.2%, which is actually like really good. That's a pretty good growth rate, I think anyway. Oh, it's 3,000 per, that's good, that's good. Hey, our textile mill's actually productive. Dang, they don't even have everybody hired yet. Unfortunately, it does look like we still have to kind of wait a bit before really doing anything. I think our uh, barracks is having trouble hiring at the moment. Weekly balance minus 600. No, that's so much. I'm gonna go broke. Not really, I just, I, I'm lying. Oh, what's this? We don't have enough tools. Really now? We, oh, what happened? What happened? Oh, tooling workshop, it can't hire. I mean, it should be able to hire because these are expensive now. It, it'll get itself worked out. See, it's hiring. They're gonna make one tool. We're gonna make one hammer. There we go. Now we're making one and the problem has solved itself. Okay, looks like wheat we actually need a lot more of. So let's go back to our millet farm. Then we can still hire more people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna queue up one of these. Yeah, let's just queue up one of those. Standard of living is almost at 1.5% now, which is, you know, that's getting to actually to the point where it's pretty good. GDP per capita is solid. 
This is still bad, but it's getting a lot better than it used to be. Standard of living is almost number 10 in the world. Our lower class actually has decent lives. They're impoverished, but you know, it's getting better. And uh, also look at our loyalists coming in. Oh, and our standard of living went up. Nope, never mind. I'm tripping. We're number 11 in the world, number 10 in the world. Uh, Orange is the highest. Okay, so we got to get up to them eventually. Same with GDP per capita. Huh, interesting. Orange, you guys are the best. What are you guys doing? What's up? What's going on in the state? Oh, well, duh, that explains it. You got a bunch of gold. All right, question's over. I, I, I understand the answer now. Okay, there's no more peasants. So how does that mean our government's working? Landowners still have a lot of power, but not as much as they used to. Still can't pass any laws because, well, there's no laws that still haven't been invented. So, you know, you take some and you lose some. Sidamo up here in Ethiopia. I'm, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Well done. Monument to the prince. They take 3% more prestige. I'll take it, 159th. Not bad. See, the problem is at this point, building stuff doesn't really do anything for us because we don't have enough people to work in every place that we have, which means just adding more stuff doesn't really do anything. I mean, I could build new stuff, but I don't think that's gonna matter all that much. Let's, let's build one of these just so we have this in our market, you know. Maybe we build a paper mill because we're gonna need one later, but like in the meantime, we kind of just had to sit here and wait, to be honest. Hey, our standard of living's number eight in the world. Let's go. Dude, we're, we're just doing solid, man. Like the only thing separating us from like the, the best people in the world is they have gold. They have gold, we don't have gold. So, you know, we can't get those little like standard of living bonuses, but like, hey, we're not doing too bad. It would be amazing if I could get through all of this just a little a wee bit faster. You know, it's kind of turned into a waiting game where there's nothing really to do. I'm just kind of sitting here talking to myself, which is talking to you guys and just like, hey, how are you guys doing? I'm doing great. I'm playing a Choli in Victoria 3. Thank you for asking. Slowly losing my mind because I'm just bored. And when I'm bored, I talk to myself and I yell at things. I, I yell at Belgium. Where's Belgium? Piss off, Belgites. I don't know if that's the technical term from somebody that lives in Belgium or not, but honestly, I think it's funny, so I'm gonna <laughs> use it. Belgite. Dude, standard of living keeps going up, dude. Dude, we're, we're just we're just too good, we're too good. We're at 12.8, we're almost at 12.9. We're number six in the world. We're just good, we can't be Lanfang, because, you know, let's, let's experiment, let's go, not experiment, what am I saying? Let's go over to Lanfang. Hey, Lanfang, what are you doing? I, can you get out of my way screen? What do you guys have? You got gold here, okay? So you got gold and are you in anybody's like big market? You're in the Qing market and you have gold. Okay, no wonder you're standing up living side. But what was this when I was playing in the other one? They blew up. Why couldn't they blow up when I was playing that? Everything looks so much easier to punch now. You know what, screw this. This game hates me on a personal level. Hey look, red Tibet. That's pretty cool. Okay, have you built anything else yet? No. I mean, we're still bringing in a lot of people or I guess people are being born. Number eight. What do you mean number eight? No. Everybody's passing me. No, stop it. Stop it. Any more decrees? I can decree unto thee. No, I may not. It's too bad we can't export anything. We'd be able to uh, become way more rich than we are. Oh, well. It is what it is until it isn't. Would this help us? It says it would. Maybe it was lying. I think it was lying. Do we need sugar? Do we did we really need sugar? We need we need this we need we need this I, I think it was like I'm going back single crop Yeah, it issues back up. Wow. Wow Games trying to pull my leg 29 months to colonization It would be epic if we could get this a little bit faster, but we can't so oh well Yeah, we're really just kind of stuck until uh, more stuff gets done. So uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe we just make one big cut until I have uh, colonization. Actually, actually, you know what? I've got 10 troops. They've got three. Hmm. They've got five, but a lot of conscripts. Is this full though? I don't know if I really want to risk that yet. Cause like, I don't think the difference in offense and defense on a regular infantry is like that different. Yeah, they have 10 offense and 10 defense. So like, it's literally just a who has more troops kind of situation. And when it comes into something like that, and they could potentially call in more conscripts than I can, it's a little risky and I don't want to risk it. And we're, hey, 13, not bad. People have good lives in Acholi. All right, Sadamo, who are you losing to now? 
Oh, it's yourself. The Sadama Military Revolt. Sadama and Sidamo. Interesting. Very cool. I'd like to see Ethiopia form. That'd be kind of cool. How goes it in Europe? Looks like nothing has changed whatsoever. How's China? Okay, China's having some problems. Uh, we'll check back on you later. How did you lose Western Australia, Britain? Huh? Well, I'm afraid to look. So the Dutch lost the Dutch East Indies and now Britain's losing Western Australia. Okay, they still have Canada. America's beaten the crap out of Mexico. El Salvador exists, Peru, Bolivia exists, and France is slowly colonizing. Okay, so nothing too bad is that. Why do you have this? Why do you have a quava? I don't know. I'm not going to think about it. I'm going to be real with you. I ain't putting in the brain power to think about that. Uh, we still have a lot of unemployment. Our king is against colonization. But we do have this dude, so could I pass colonization? Yeah, we still could. Okay, so yeah, people like it. 14% chance. I want to do frontier colonization. Is there a reason to take frontier versus like anything else? I feel like it would give you like a buff to uh, your colonization speed if you're doing it like right next to one you're already on. Oh, and uh, I don't know where that went. Hey, our, we're losing money now. Huh. That's from our military wages. That's all right. It should be okie dokie. I could just add a, uh, a tax on something. Fruit, tobacco. Sure, why not? Tobacco tax. Don't smoke your brains out, people. Stop it. All right, what do I do after colonization? I feel like I should go ahead and get this thought through. So we have this, which is one that we need. We have this, which is one that we need. Road maintenance. That would be helpful, but we don't really have any people to work, so building doesn't really do anything for us. If I went to pharmaceuticals, it would take forever to do, so I think maybe production is the best next call. We could do shaft mining. I don't think we need mines, though, but it is blocking us off from almost everything else. Eh, probably that. Is there anything else in society that would be helpful? More authority. We don't need authority. Um, agrarianism. I do... Okay, we do need to pass some different laws, though. So maybe we do international trade. We gotta get mercantilism. We gotta get away from isolationism is a big thing. Standard of living is still just climbing. I'm not really sure why, to be honest, but hey, I will take it. 13.4 this early on is like really good. Everybody has pretty much anything they could possibly want. Do I go ahead and build some more of these? I think I do. Just queue them up just so we have them for the future. Even if we don't need them right now, we can at least, you know, have access to them. You know, stuff like that. So apparently all of this is considered our homeland territories, which means I think we can colonize it without any malaria problems, if I remember correctly. U.S., can you, like, not border gore everything you come into contact with? This? Okay, I can kind of understand this. What is this? Why do you not take, what is this, Utah? Colorado? Take Colorado from them. What are you doing? You left them with Texas? I mean, I guess Texas makes sense. The Indian Territory is still a thing. Let's go. Um, nothing interesting is really happening out in the world, I'm going to be honest. This is happening. Can you guys, like, fight each other? Just something interesting. I guess this was interesting. All this blew up. We got Jambi. Let's go Jambi. There we go. Colonization. Let's get the law passed. How about it? I say we just do this frontier colonization because, I mean, we don't have access to the sea at all. So let's just do that. 13% chance to pass with, I think, a 0% chance to... Nope, we have 50% to stall. It's because your goddamn king, he don't want it. He's like, I'm a pacifist. I'm gonna pacifist you up the nutsack if you don't shut the hell up. He's a pacifist too. Stop it. All right, let's... If this fails, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, okay. 33% chance to pass now. Faith knows no borders. Ooh. Sure, but uh, approval's good. All right, consideration now. Let's do it. I want to start colonizing. Hurry up and colonizing. Thank you. Distillation, let's go. All right, we hit adoption. I like it. Let's do it. Get it through. Please, thank you. Namaste. We must colonize. We must expand. We must do more stuff with our things. Luo. Wait, is that our like primary culture? Huh. Prince intervenes. Prince tell him to piss off. 
and as we progress one phase. I thought he was against this. I thought he was against colonization. He's the only reason we have any chance to fail. Okay, we'll just get it. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it, okay. Establish a colony, let's go. Never mind. looks like I, I lied. The, the homeland thing doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, I got pranked. Well, looks like we're just, uh, we're gonna do normal colonization speeds. All right, what's in this state? We have malaria. Minus 90% colonial growth in non-homeland state. What do you mean it is a homeland state? Is it not? Is that, is this, is this not how, do I not understand how this works? This is considered their homeland. So why do I not, why do I not get the buff? Is it broken? Did they lie? I'm angry. This is bullshit. I got pranked. I'm mad. I'm very upsetty, spaghetti. They said there were no penalties. This is in non-homeland states. All right, I'm gonna hover over this. The culture's homeland because this state reads that pops of culture feel are historically or naturally their territory. Pops are more prone to migrate to their homeland than other states. So what you're saying is, you're lying to me. This is supposed to be mine. Either that or I just have like no colonial growth speed whatsoever, but I'm pretty sure uh, this is the same like speed that everybody else is using. My culture, Luo is my primary culture, is it not? Hmm. And is this the Luo people consider Turkana their homeland? Then I should get the homeland buff to colonizing. You're lying to me. I'm on to you. This is, it's lying. It just, it's, it's broken. Conclusion? They're lying. Someone in the comments explain to me how this works. What do I need? Oh, is, is, is there actually stuff in the state now? Uh, what do I need this for? What do I need iron for? What am I using iron in? Uh, uh, yeah, okay, I forgot I built that, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's this. I, I don't, we don't need this, so I don't, you know, I don't think it matters that much. I'm sad my colonization got crippled because it lied in non-homeland states. I'm, I'm just colonies that are not the homeland of any of your primary cultures. What's my, is this not my primary culture? Yeah, it is a primary culture. But th this says it's my homeland. You're disgusting, Paradox. You would lie to me. You lied. I'm disgusted. Dirty freaking liars. You know what? I bet they never thought anybody would actually play this nation to find out. All right, well, I guess we're gonna adapt to it anyway. Can we ban slavery? No, they would hate that. Go back to hereditary bureaucrats. Yay. At least we're bringing people in by expanding in these little states. So I'm not, I'm not upset. They're all dying. People here, they love it. It's, it's going up. We're going to bring in more people. We're going to have more workers. Everything's going to be good. Why do they hate me now? What did we do? We were, we were improving relations. Oh, did you get, have a revolution or something? Oh, well, my plans have been shot in the face. I was really expecting to be able to colonize quickly as one of these nations, but it does not appear like that's gonna be the case. Okay, well, we built everything that we can build. We just kind of waiting on population at this point. So maybe, I think it might be time to shift over into military so we can take these states over. Cause that's gonna be our biggest expansion because they lied to me. I'm supposed to be able to build faster. But no, due to, uh, Oh, maybe it's literally just because I have no people whatsoever. Let's, I guess let's build this up. Maybe that'll make it go faster. Cause I, I, I you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm claiming that they're lying, but maybe I'm just stupid. That's always a possibility on this channel. I'm, I could be an idiot. Like, let me, let me look. What is their growth speed? Okay, so they do have the malaria debuff. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just dumb, actually. I, my bad. My bad. I'm I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I expected it to go faster. That's on me. I I beg forgiveness of the paradox gods for I have sinned. I have claimed a bug when bug is only in my brain. I am stupid. Ah. Okay. So maybe we get this. Will be better. We need more people though. It's still like the same problem of we just don't have the people. So it's how do we get enough colonization? Progress increased by 0.1 due to colonial growth generated by actually. So it's 0.1 per million people. I see. So basically what you're saying is I'm too broke to colonize. Huh? I guess I actually do have to go conquer some people if I'm going to get anywhere. So the more people, because how many people are down in these states? 293k. Okay, this one's got a lot. That's a million. 
Okay, so yeah, if I conquer this, incorporate, conquer this, incorporate, you know, just do all that, yeah, we'll be good. Let me improve, actually, what is my relations with them? They're already amicable. We're amicable with these guys too. I don't want that to be the case. I want to declare war on them. If Boganda likes me, then in theory, they should be buddies with me and not them. All right, so now they're improving relations, so I'm going to expel diplomats. And now they can't, which means if I stop relations improvement, I have a little bit of infamy now for doing that. Should be all right. Can't make an alliance because they want to defend the borders, okay? That's okay. All right, so now, does that mean my, okay, my speed has been doubled, now it's only 500 days. So yeah, I'm just an idiot. That That's all it is, I'm just an idiot. Fair enough. So I need more people in my military now. So, I can't shift my, ooh, wait, I could do new things. Let's do it. Make alcohol, I think. Let's check and make sure our prices and everything are still good. All of our people's needs are met. I thought you guys wanted more alcohol. I'm making alcohol now. Okay, so we don't have enough grain. Grain is becoming a problem. We just always need grain. We'll just hire more people. Go make more grain, stupid. Hey, okay, let's see. Let's hire a general. Who's the best one? Probably you. And then, I mean, I'd really like to shift over to line infantry beforehand. How close am I to getting line infantry? So right here, because the jump to line infantry basically just wins any fight instantly. Yeah, they're a regular infantry. I think Buganda is still a regular infantry. Yeah, they are. So if I could get line infantry early, I can conquer all these guys, no problem. I can keep colonizing, I can get more people into and become, you know, incorporated. I think culture-wise, all these are my primary culture, so we should be able to get all of this reasonably, I believe. Unfortunately, these ding-dongs have gotten malaria prevention. So does this one have? It just has normal malaria. Where's the severe malaria states? Oh, all of it's just normal malaria. So I'm gonna be competing with Britain at normal speeds again. This sucks. Hmm, I was hoping I could snag all of this early, but it looks like no. So instead, I'm gonna have to beat some people up. All right, let's build more. So we got this one and then we gotta get this one and then we'll have line infantry, we'll have guns. It should give us what we need. We get Hussars. No, that gives us Dragoons and Crusaders. Where do we get Hus uh, Lancers at? Do I already have Lancers? No, there's Lancers and Napoleonic. Okay. I'm going to build five more. Three, four, five. We're going to bring more people in. Dragoons, Crusaders, Professional Army. That's fine. Should I pass Professional Army at this point? I think so. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Let's do that. Law, debate, success. Okay, cool. That should go down correctly. How long until line infantry is done? 28 months. Do I really want to wait that long? Do I want to wait two more years? I, th I feel like I can get Bonyoru. I feel like I can get them. I'm going to try it. We're going to conquer state. Right here. 5.2 infamy. We have the numbers to win. We'll be okay. Go right here. We're going to lose a little bit of money, but we've been saving up for the better part of 20 years now. I'm only worried about Buganda obligation okay they want peace so they're not gonna join we are good we win all right so we'll take that state we'll get it incorporated and we'll be in much better shape we can come down into these states next everything's going my way hopefully these guys don't actually put up that big of a fight i mean they've only got four yeah they've got three thousand troops reasonably they just built one i think they called in their conscript i think they have like one no they got three so they could call in more let's do it pushmen off to the front line. 13 on 3 with the same numbers. We're going to win. They're going to run out of troops. And then we'll just have an easy cakewalk all the way through the country. And we're almost 300,000 people. Nice. We're going to get more people from taking over all of this, though. It's only at 2,000 people. Yep, yeah, we're just going to win. We're just going to roll on through. What are they at now? 1.5k? Yeah, it's done. We have expanded. Easy. I think that's a win. Nope, hold on, we got one more fight to fight. Done, okay, sweet. Uh, in that case, we're gonna demobilize. Oh, it's up to 15 now. Demobilize, we win, you lose, go suck an egg. And now we just gotta wait for them to surrender even though they're 100% capitulated. Still to this day, I will say, I wish on 100% capitulation they would just automatic uh, surrender. Because, I mean, if you're 100% occupied, you're not going to win the war. You're just killing people's time. You're just wasting my time. 
you know, just get it done with. Balunru. Oh, is this count as one state? Oh, let's go. It's already my state. Let's go. All right, well, now there's some uh, disloyal people, which we can probably fix just by getting their standard of living up. Market. Uh, what is needed in the market? Uh, ooh. Ouch. Okay, infrastructure is now a problem. That is a problem. We don't really have railways. So there's nothing we can do about it. Hmm. We are at a million GDP now, which honestly, amazing. Hmm. Let's just keep going with that. So, are we not making? No, we are making stuff. This is still going at the same speed. I really need to get more people. So once we get a million, how many people live here? Population, 288k. I need to damage relations with all these guys so they're not all impossible to invade. They all want to be friends with me is the problem. And I don't really want my infamy to skyrocket from just yelling at them. Here, this one will expel diplomats. And we don't have to worry about this and we'll just damage relations with everybody else in the meantime. Uganda has more people than we do, but once we get all these guys down at the bottom, we will have more. Actually, let me see the state regions map. Okay, so Uganda, this just separates them all into that. It's, we'll figure it out. Okay, population's still going up. We're doing really good now. So I think, so how many people do they have? 3,000? We're still good relationship with them. I'm gonna go and conquer the next state. Uh, relations are cordial. They started improving relations. Oh, never mind. I just needed it to get down to that. All right, conquer state. We'll do this one, that gives us five. We still have the troops to outmatch them. No one's gonna get involved because they don't have the power to ask for people to get involved. We'll be good. This time they've got the same amount, 3K. Just another state to add to my collection. There's professional army. Anything else we can pass in the meantime? Peasant levies? Yeah, I don't really want to. All right, let's crush these guys. Do the same thing that we did last time. 17k on 3k, we're going to crush them. I don't know why we're all getting demoralized. That doesn't make sense. We literally like, yeah, we, we destroyed them. I don't know why we're demoralized. Oh well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Hit them, crush them again. We'll take the state over. How much of this state is mine? 51%, so two more battles should do it, but they've only got, you know, okay, like 600 people, 69k or 0.69k, and then they ruined it, they by getting more people. You should have left it at 69, but now I gotta invade you. That's just how it is. All right, demobilization. Make peace, not yet, in a little bit though. Minus 15, minus one, and peace deal, boom. All right, is this all still the same state? It is. Dang, that makes it really nice for me, because I don't have to incorporate anything now. Let's go. 900k, and we can probably just keep pushing. Let me make sure this isn't too high. It's a 10. Eh, not bad. Hmm, we might let it pause for a second. We do have a lot of radicals, which is a little bit of a problem. They're all kind of mad. You should be okay, though. 1.5 mil GDP, though. I will point that out. That is a lot of GDP for this early on. Okay, so what's my military? Is 19. What's theirs? It's 5. Not enough to beat them yet. All right, radicals are going down, and next slavery band. Can I do that yet? I feel like a revolution would happen. Yeah, they, they're way too mad to be willing to do that right now. Oh dang, we can actually turn taxes up and get quite a bit of money now. Ooh, line infantry, yes sir, okay. That's a good one. Production stuff, uh, how, how is our uh, access? It is bad right now, our, our access is actively terrible. Hmm, is there an easy way to fix that? I don't think there is. We can get a modern sewage, but I don't think it's enough. Centralization would give us road maintenance, which would increase how much we have. So I think we do that. Might need to downgrade some of these. Who's unprofitable? We'll do that. We don't want to overdo it. Uh, this one's way too high. There we go. Need to downsize a bit on everything without firing people, ideally. Okay, how does that fix a lot of it? That does fix a lot of it. So here's a lesson. If your infrastructure's too bad, just downgrade some of your buildings, especially the ones that aren't producing much, like this one. We only really need one there. How about some of these? These all look profitable, so I'm not gonna downgrade them any up here. Uh, this one, probably downgrade it a bit. I don't think we need that many tools right now, so, you know, we built it earlier, but it doesn't matter right now. Paper, we'll leave one. We all only need one right now. Glass works. Uh, we just need the one right now. Boom. That should fix a lot of our problems. Yep, it, it gets it better. 
And, oh, an ex slavery ban. Okay, I would like to. That did make a lot of people radical, though, which is a little bit of a problem. Now I can turn my taxation back down. Okay, depending. Oh, they're gonna take over everything. Honestly, I might just use this and flip sides. I think that would be better in this situation. Because then I fix the radical problem already. Because they're not gonna succeed or succeed because this is one state, and there's nobody in this one who could put up a fight. So I'm thinking I just go with it. Oh, nope. They, they, radical done. Okay, here, back up. We'll turn taxation back up. We'll trigger a civil war. We'll let it go. We'll flip. Yeah, I think that's the plan right now. Because we'll, we'll stay in control of everything anyway. We just lose the colonization or the colonized portion. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do it. And then we get all these people in the government. We're able to actually pass some better laws, I think. Yeah, this is my new plan. Or in the sea of anger. Hmm. Let me try something. If I turn my taxation back down from where it was, is that going to shoot this up? And then am I going to fix all this expansion radicalism? That might do it. We'll give it a second to see if that works or not. But I'm going to keep pushing this higher because I do still kind of want to do the Civil War. I don't think it's going to fix it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go through the Civil War. So taxes up. Let's make some radicals. Make them mad. Come on, get pissed. Come on, get mad. I know you want to. All right, there's a big standard of living hit. That should raise the radicalism, I think. No, it's just not. That's fine. Man, I never thought it would be too difficult to spark a revolution. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Now we'll radicalize. And then we'll just swap sides and we'll be good. Come on, hurry up. Ain't got all day. 99. Ah. Come on, you're right there. Just give this to me. I want to fight. I want to punch. I want to throw hands. We're gonna we're gonna fix some stuff, right? Right. To my rescue. Thing. I almost have a border with Great Britain. They are also blocking my uh, colonization route. So that's nice. Okay. So, so they have all the troops, and I have nothing. This is what I wanted. I'm just gonna keep colonizing over here. Do 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 do. Hurry up. Why is this game going so slow over here? I feel like I should be going faster. I don't even. Do I have an army? I do. And get no, uh, what are they called? No conscripts. I'm just gonna go and switch sides because they don't have anything over here. Illegitimate government? No! Can't reform government. We're in a civil war. That's fine. Um, uh, yeah, just go ahead and push. Getting organized. We're good. All right, market. What's wrong with the market? Yeah, there's a few things missing, but it's not like a big problem. There's no radicals. Standard of living's good. <laughs> Just easy exploits for the week. And we win! Dude, that was such a cool war. Man, that was that was that was a tough battle. Hard fought victory, lads, but we did it. If we can get this area, we should be able to cut off Britain from colonizing through here and they'll have to go down, which will mean we get all this, and it's all ours. Alright, can you hurry up and surrender? You've a hundred percent lost, just give up. That's how this should work. How did you get in charge? Oh, we're a presidential republic. Let's go! I didn't know that's how that worked. Dude, that's great! Dude, civil wars are even better than they used to be. All right, can you give up already? It's been months since you've lost this war. 93, 100. Victory for we, for we have done it. All right, no, uh-uh, 100%. Now let's see what can we do. Census suffrage already? Honestly, sure, actually, no. I'm gonna do wealth voting just so I can have a little bit more control over what happens. Oh, 2% become more loyalist. Enables law parliamentary republic. Ooh, okay. I like that. And everybody's loyal. Dude, honestly, we're doing pretty good. All right, uh, we still have 19 troops. Can we swap over to better stuff? Yeah, I'm gonna try to upgrade to line infantry. I think I have the stuff for it. No, we can't make guns yet because we... Can we trade? Aha, Britain get cut off. Idiot. Can't come through here now. Ha ha. Okay, so... I want to... Hmm... I want to get away from isolationism, like, really badly. Mercantilism. They hate that. Okay, I don't... I, I don't really want to be, you know... It's fine, it's fine. Okay. So now, tax is going back down. Dang, we're bringing in a thousand per? That's not bad. Okay, now we're back down. Okay, that's what I was doing before. 
So they're gonna conquer that, or they're gonna colonize that, and I'm gonna colonize here, then they're gonna go down once this runs out. That means I think I'm going to actually improve relations because we're down to zero and improve relations there. Um, I don't think this is gonna actually do us what we need to. How do I actually see that? How do I see the numbers like I used to be able to? We don't have the guns that we need and the place that builds them can't build them because, okay. Maybe we can just pretend like we have iron. If I do this, would that fix it? Why are we only producing one now? I guess we weren't producing much to begin with. Mm, I'm trying to think of a, ooh. Okay, yeah, maybe not. Why does this make zero now? Is that what that does? Never mind. I guess we can't do that until we get iron. We have no iron mines, do we? No, we don't. Okay, so these are going to stay at a regular infantry. Unfortunately, line infantry can't move to a regular infantry. Does that mean I have to, like, undo all of this and rehire everybody? That's some BS. Okay, there's no... Oh, wait, we have iron here. Ooh, we could take their iron. Oh, they've only got two. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's go steal things that don't belong to us. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, nobody should back them up again. I'm only worried about Buganda, really. And, uh, yeah, they want peace. So they want to stay neutral. I completely understand, as you should. You should stay neutral. It is in your best interest and my best interest for you to stay neutral. Okay, so once I take this iron mine, we'll be able to make guns and have line infantry and then bully the rest of these people. And then we might be able to go into Ethiopia as well. Hey, that's an idea. Why are you the president? Oh, it's because we still have autocracy. Blech. Blech. All right, push in to them. We'll win this real quick. Oh, oh. Huh, apparently we have enough guns to make it work. I don't know how that works, but okay. Hopefully this is still considered part of this state. I hope it is. That would make my job like really easy. Ah, uh, legislative failures. Boo. Okay. Can I make another colony anywhere? Probably not. Can I establish interest? Nope. I'm stuck. I think once I get this one, I should be able to colonize down here. Are they part of my uh, culture? They are. Okay. So that's good. All right. What do you guys give up yet? Not yet. It's going to take them a while. Okay, that's fine. Standard of living is still number, like, six in the world, which is still insane for, you know, how little access to everything we have. All right. All right, it's a different state now. That's sad, but I guess it is what it is. I can't be too upset. I've gotten a lot of free expansion for just nothing, so I think Buganda, we need to take over. Once we do that, legislative failure, damn, Bill's just not going to pass. Oh, well, that's okay. So, establish a colony. We can colonize down here now at 220 per day. Still not good, but I mean, we did have this state now, which is like, oh, it's already incorporated. Huh. Nice. I didn't know that's how that worked. So, 132nd. If we can get to major power, we can start colonizing up here, which would be good. All right. Information. Uh, 459 power projection. Buganda, 70. I think we have won our area of Africa. I would like to continue to improve relations with Great Britain because I don't really want them to try and murder me. You know, hot take. Uh, getting murdered sucks. We can hit Rwanda or this guy next. Diplomacy, we're so reputable so we can hit either of them. We'll conquer Rwanda. I don't think Britain would get involved in that. Nah. They're neutral and they're cautious. Slightly militarily threatening, but I don't think that really matters. All right, we're gonna go to line infantry. We're gonna shift that and we're gonna stay that. We're not making enough guns still. Okay, we're making zero. Why are we making zero? What are we missing? Oh, hardwood, duh, okay. Uh, are they making any wood here? We're gonna shift this one to do hardwood and then make zero of this. Oh, I see. So it either produces that or that. I, I don't really like that. I wish it would produce both. Okay, market. Let's check the arms industry now. Okay, it has the stuff, so it should start to make guns for us. We're making one, one gun. All right, that should start to fix it slowly. We have 1.14 mil. We're gonna win this battle very easily. Two mil GDP, not bad. Works out election. Uh, bureaucracy next time, we'll do bureaucracy. Maybe we get lucky, but probably not. Yeah, crush them. 
We're gonna use our technological advancement to win the wars. Yeah, they don't have the stuff to put uh, against us, so we're just gonna win. Who's against us now? Oh, it's the rural folk became authoritarian halfway through trying to pass it. I see what's been going on. Lame. All right, demobilize. Public address grows awry. I think we just kill it and try and pass something else. That's so sad we could have passed that earlier, but now we can't because you're an asshole. All right, well, I guess, why are we? No, don't bolster, I don't want to bolster. Stop, okay. Oh, religious schools, let's do it. Oh, also decrees, we can do promote social mobility. Oh, they canceled all my things. That sucks. Um, there, there, there. But we'll do resources here. And then what's in this state? Um, probably more agricultural stuff, so we'll do that. And we could probably do enlistment efforts. That way I don't think we really need to. All right, another state to add to our collection. Conquer Rwanda. It's actually going really well. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised this is going as easily as it is. All right, so this state is now kind of disloyal because uh, they got conquered. How is their infrastructure? How's my infrastructure up here, to be honest? Anything else I can cut back on? A food manufacturer? And I think that's it for there. That'll fix a little bit of that. Yep, 70 of 60. What can be canceled down here? We do need our iron mines to produce. We're producing tools. I think we're okay for the most part. Let's see our reputation. That's that. Hmm, we're gonna have to get more bureaucracy at some point. I don't think I can... Okay, I can build bureaucratic buildings. Let's build one. And now we'll check our reputation. We're still low. So it might be time to conquer... Nope, can't do Buganda yet. Oh yeah, because I improved relations like a dumbass. Uh, we'll do Burundi. And then we'll stop improving here and actually go back down because I'm no longer afraid of them getting involved, only Britain. Mobilize into the front. We'll just win. Is this one incorporated yet? Nine months till. Okay, that's not bad. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, if I have problems with bureaucracy, passing religious schools might not be the way to go. I'm gonna cancel this for now because I don't think I have the bureaucracy for it. Instead, man, if we could get per capita taxation, that would be solid for us. But no, not that yet. I think we just don't pass anything in the meantime. Instead, we just focus on, let's do centralization. I thought I was already passing that, but I guess when I flipped in the Civil War, that got canceled and I forgot to check it again. Three mil GDP though at this point. This is solid. Ooh, the French Empire. It went to Constitutional Empire. It's Napoleon III. What's up, bro? How you doing? I do really like this color of France, I'm gonna be honest. It's like a darker blue than Prussia. Yeah, it's it's nice looking. I'm very tempted to go into Ethiopia, start conquering all these places as well. But I don't think I have an interest in the region and I can't get one yet because, uh, yeah, isolationist. All right, that's another state down. Last one we gotta get is Buganda. And I think once we get that, we should become a regional power. That is the goal primarily. All right, they've pieced out. We got them now. Now we got the big two mil population. This is a good amount of people. We can actually like build stuff now, or I guess we can work in places now, I should say. Okay, colonizing down here. Still 220, because this is still not incorporated yet. Oh, we got two weeks until incorporation, which will speed up our colonization efforts. Not bad. Not bad at all. One day. Yep, now we colonize even faster. That's really good. 3.7 mil GDP. Standard of living's still pretty good. And that's also really solid. How many people live in this state down here? Uh, seems like a pretty good amount. All right, reputable. Not bad. Unfortunately, I have to expel diplomats from Buganda again because I'm stupid and I keep forgetting to uh, not be good relations with them. Here's where I'm slightly concerned because if Great Britain decides to help Buganda, that could hurt me quite a bit. I don't think they care enough to, to be honest, because I've improved relations with them and they don't care about Buganda at all, so they shouldn't help them. At least I don't believe so anyway. I will say one nice thing about colonizing down here though, we already have this state incorporated. So as we move down into here, we're just pulling people into what we already have, which is like really good for us to be honest. Okay, I think we're good to attack Buganda as well. That's gonna be 13 infamy. Let me make sure that's not too high. Okay, that would be too high right now. So we're gonna chill for a second. Let our infamy drop down a little bit. Um, did our bureaucratic 
build and get built? It should have. It did. Unfortunately, we can make like barely any bureaucracy out of this at all. So I think I'm gonna build another one. 40 weeks, that's a lot. And we're still in the tier one text. This sucks. I wish we had so much more. We could do so much more if we had so much more, but we can't and we're kind of forced to just work with what we got right now. GDP is really strong though. I, I gotta say for what little we've actually done, our GDP is really high. What do these places need? He needs wood. Hmm. Problem is we can either make wood or hardwood and I can't do both because I, I don't know why they didn't make that a feature. All right, checking reputation again. 13 needs to be a little bit lower to take Buganda. Even with our taxes low, dude, we're almost at the point where I feel like we could start building construction sectors, but same problem as always, everybody's already got a job. If everyone's got a job, there's no point to building up more because, you know, everyone's got a job. We don't need more jobs if everyone's got a job. How close are we to regional power status? We are not that far off. What's in this state? It's all, ooh, there's another government admin building. There's a lot of stuff in here, but that's going to wreck. Uh, once we take that, that's gonna wreck our infrastructure. That's going to be bad. How much longer until I can get the damn road maintenance? Uh, it's 12 months, so one year, and we'll be able to do that. That kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Kind of sucks, kind of a lot. All right, we can take Buganda now. Oh, it's 14 infamy now, so make sure we're underneath. Barely. They're building up, they're getting higher uh, population. They, they got a mill. That's an extra mill that we'll just have in population. We're number 48 in the world? We're, dang, we're actually not that bad. Huh. They're the 152nd power. They have 14 prestige of their own. I don't think that's gonna get straight added to ours, but, you know, a lot of it is. All right, now check my reputation. We're at exactly 10, okay? Now we're less than 10, so anything above 15 and it's too much, it's 14 exactly, let's do it. Britain likes us, they shouldn't get involved. These guys don't have the military to fight us. Yeah, they just they just don't. Yes, yeah, 75, we have um, 540, we just win. Okay, no one's gonna help them, we're good. Okay, good, 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 good. 4 mil GDP, this is gonna instantly incorporate and then it is going to break our economy because we don't have the infrastructure for all this, unfortunately. But the pops will add to it. Oh, they have road maintenance. I want road maintenance, bitch. Give me road maintenance. I actually really want road maintenance. Six months? Okay, it won't be that bad. By the time this war is over, we'll pretty much have road maintenance and we can fix a lot of the infrastructure problems. 4 mil GDP already though, that is a lot. How far off are we from big? Um, about 14 mils. So, you know, we're nowhere near like great power status, but like, I don't know. If we had good technology, we probably could be. All right, they're getting demolished just as planned. Now, if we could just get off isolationism, actually, let me check and see if we can do that. No, can't get away from isolationism, ha ha. We could try religious schools again. Uh, do I want to? I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that yet. This dude wasn't authoritarian. We'd be in a much better shape, but he is, and that's a problem. Yep, destroy them. We have better stats than they do because we're better in technology. Zanzibar is free from Oman. Let's check around the world and see what's going on. France is eating the Sahara. Shocker. Um, Germany's still not a thing. Italy, not a thing. Sardinia Piedmont's eating a few things, and so is two Sicilies, but nothing really that big. Uh, the Ottomans still hold all their stuff. Huh. Wallachia has, actually no, it's Moldova has beaten Wallachia, cool. Uh, the Heavenly Kingdom exists, so I guess uh, this white piece. This is still as it is, they haven't lost any more here, and South America's pretty much the same, El Salvador still exists, and the US is still not eaten Washington, Idaho, and Oregon. Great. How are we doing? We are winning. All right. We have eaten all of our neighbors now, so we are actually really good. Um, yeah, our, our market access is terrible, but we are a regional power now. Let's go. Oh, British East Africa, huh? Okay, declare an interest up here, and we're going to go make another colony, I think. Come on, we must have an interest. I, we have an interest now. Quit lying to me. We have an interest. Centralization, yes. Okay, okay. Decrees. This is the big one that's going to help us a lot. 
state of Uganda. That's good. We're going to kill this and this, and we're going to replace it with road maintenance. That should... Okay, it doesn't fix all of it, but it fixes a lot of it. Okay, copy plantation. We're going to take that down one. Um, Vineyard. Vineyard's fine. Tea, we're going to take it down one notch. Coffee is good. Sugar will take down. We don't need that much sugar. And okay, that should actually fix a lot of it. Losing power ranking. Yeah, I know, I know. Let's, okay, military. Let's get it all fixed. A regular into line infantry. That'll keep us high up on this list. And what's our next technology? I think at this point we might just rush for railway? I think so. So we'll do that and then this one. And we'll just go get railways as soon as possible. Alrighty. So up here we can colonize this. It's going to take 200 days, but we can get all that. Could I fight Kaffa? These guys like me. Are, are they a Dominion? They're a puppet. Okay, so it's Britain. Britain still likes me quite a bit, I think. They're cautious of us, which, I mean... Okay, so it's just because we're not amicable yet. That's fine. How's my reputation? 17. Kinda high, I'm not gonna lie. 3 mil. Is it all incorporated states? It is, okay. Let's reform our government. Looks like these guys have gotten all their power back, unfortunately. Um, so I don't think we're gonna be changing any laws anytime soon. So we could do tenant farming. The rural folk will be mad, unfortunately, but I guess we could move on to... No, no, they just hate all of this. They want to keep their slaves and they want to keep their serfs. Bunch of losers. All right, even with low taxes, we've actually got a pretty good income. The problem is our infrastructure is too bad to really do anything with. I guess except for over here. We could build some stuff over here now. So let's do that. Coal? Let's do it. Actually, here, let me build this construction sector first. Pass monarchy. We're not going to democratically pass monarchy. Are you stupid? You might be dumb. All right, let's check where... Ooh, dang. Everybody in our nation is accepted. That is nice. Um, we are looking for highest population. Really? Huh. We're not even, like, most of our own population anymore. Huh. Is this one... Oh, it's a primary culture. Oh, that means we could colonize all of this for free, I think. Is that what that means? Does that mean I can just continue to colonize everything with, like, no debuffs whatsoever? I wonder if that's what that means. Huh. Maybe? Wait, so, okay, so what all is an actual, like, primary culture? No. Primary culture? Yes. No. Yes. No. 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 Okay, so it's just this one, which is all of this, which is good. And then Luo, which is all this up here, which means we could reasonably colonize a ton of stuff. This is all just normal malaria states though. Where's the severe malaria? Because now Britain's just gonna beat us to all this. I guess I'm just competing with Britain at this point to colonize stuff, which means if I want to colonize faster, I'm gonna need more people somehow or a higher level colonization. I mean, honestly, this, I mean, it adds a little bit, but not that much. We have colonized a fair bit, to be honest. Like a lot of this, we have grown quite a bit, which is nice. Stamp out monarchism. Okay. Total five years. Stance on a monarchy not greater than neutral. Interest group is not powerful. I'm pretty sure the rural folk want uh, that and are powerful, which is sad. Okay, at this point, what are we really trying to do? Our literacy rate is pretty high. Well, not, not actually really high, not at all. But it's enough to where we're getting a decent amount of people here. And we're losing our great power status again. Again, I'd like to maintain that. Actually, I feel like we absolutely have to maintain that, which means, oh, we have investment pool. Let's go. Doesn't really help us to be honest, but uh, I guess it is what it is. Let's uh, recruit more infantry. Two, three, four, five. That'll work. Maybe I have to go and take over more stuff. I can't declare an interest here. That's sad. I might just have to do that. Will that cancel my colonization efforts? It probably will. It would make sense to. Nope, I guess not. And then declare an interest in Ethiopia. And I'll go conquer this state I think I have a border with. Should have a border. Kaffa, do you have any stupid thingies? Nope. What's your military power? Teen, I've got 731. Yeah, good luck, bud. Oh, okay, there's the no progress. How is my reputation? We're reputable. How much would it cost to take Kaffa? 
Uh, I don't have an interest, but it would cost 20 infamy? Bro, guess we're waiting a bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, prestige back up. I might honestly just cancel this one so that I can colonize down here faster. Yeah, we'll cancel that one. And then we'll colonize here faster so we can compete with the Brits more because they're trying to take my stuff here. They can't get up here so I can get this later when I don't have to compete with them. Dang, all these people are pissed, huh? They're not looking for ep economic dominance, but France is now at war with Prussia. And the US is involved and Russia's involved and it's a load of BS. Cool, okay. How's Egypt's military? Oh, it's way stronger than mine. I should probably increase relations with them. See, I need more people at this point. That is like my biggest hindrance. Again, it's always my biggest hindrance. You just need more people all the time. 5.6 and let's see here is 20. So I should be able to take that. It'll take me a second to get to, but we should be able to take that just fine. Uh, I'm gonna need to hire another general. So I'm not an expert meticulous defensive strategist. What do you, part of the rural folk? Tax waste, yes, I know. Can I get away from isolationism yet? Still no, but it is growing a bit. The industrialists are getting a little bigger than they were before. Ah, uh, my authoritarian rural folk are a problem. Can I just murder him? You, get exiled, idiot. Goodbye. All right, so now we can have a land reformer. That's actually much better. So if I do him in the government, what does he want? Will he help me pass anything that I want? Doesn't really look like it, to be honest. Uh, still supporting isolationism, kind of uh, autocracy. We could get landed voting, maybe. The industrialists or the intelligentsia need to be in power for that to happen. Uh, they're nowhere close to being in power, so we're just gonna go back to this. Yeah, that's fine. New check, reputation, 3.5. Can I conquer Kaffa? I think we can. Let's do it. Hopefully this actually counts as a uh, a border. If not, I'm going to be very upset. Oh cool, it does. Excellent. All right, they're running irregulars. That means we win. And doesn't look like anybody should support them because they're weak. Yeah, 131st. They do have an extra million GDP for me to take, so I'll take that. Let's blitz in the Kaffa. I might turn my taxes up. Nah, we'll be fine. We won't run out of dudes anytime soon. We will be okay. Actually, instead of hiring another dude, I might just promote this dude instead. Minus five bureaucracy, that's fine. He can do a big hit so that we're not like trading with small numbers. Keep improving relations with the Brits and Egypt, because we're about to have a border with Egypt. All right, let's see how this goes. Push into them, and that's gonna be a win for us. Easy. Okay, steel works. Still can't get down there yet. We're losing our status again because people are dying. That'll be all right. They'll get rebuilt later. Overview, 25% ownership. About to be 50% ownership. So two more battles should win it because they're all dead. Yep, and then we get to take them into our buildings. Uh, I think I need another bureaucratic building to be honest. Oh wait, oh wait, we can just do this. Fixed. Let's go. We do need more paper though. That'll be a thing that we fix later. All right, more prestige. Not bad, I like it. We need 220 to become a major power. I think we could do that if we start eating a lot of these guys up. Uh, demobilize, because I need to save money. We use surrender yet? Not yet. How about now? Nope, not yet. Just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Nope, all right, we just capitulate them to death. All right, honestly not bad. I like where we're going. 74 to incorporate. Blech. That's gonna suck, but I guess we gotta do it. And that'll be fine, because tax waste really isn't a big problem for us right now. We've been running on low taxes for the longest time, because we're still, like, no unemployment everywhere, so building more buildings doesn't really matter, to be honest. Got a lot of uh, radicals now, so we might need to fix that. But that does mean we can declare this interest now and still have this interest, which means we could also add our colony over there. But I don't really want to do that yet. I want to get this state incorporated so we can colonize faster and still beat the Brits down here. 0.92. All things considered, this is going much better than I thought it was. We had a much, like, I don't know. Our start compared to Aceh was way lower than what it is now, but this run has actually been a lot of fun. Let's get some universities in here. Excellent. 4.6 million people down in here. 7.2 million GDP. We're the number 24th worldwide. That is not bad. That makes us like relevant, I think. Uh, let's see, these guys, I want you to get incorporated into the other army group. 
And then other army group, I want you to be nothing but line infantry. Looks like they are, so we're still fine. How's our military power? 9,112? What's theirs? 2,000. So Egypt is still kind of eh on us. Agrarianism over traditionalism? Sure, let's do it. Actually, I'd like to do Lazy Fair, to be honest. Would this actually help us? Yeah, it would. Let's do agrarianism, get more investment pool. Like I say, we're still at a point where building doesn't really help us that much, but uh, it's, it's still okay. Population attraction is actually high now. That's kind of wild. If I could get into the British market, that would be really helpful, but it doesn't look like they want to let us in. We're still isolationist. I don't know how to get rid of people wanting to be isolationist is the thing. I need the industrialists to be stronger, but they're not strong enough yet. Infrastructure problems have almost actually fixed themselves, which is really nice to be honest. Could turn government wages up for more approval, but I don't think that would really help me too much. Has Britain stopped colonizing down here? Hmm, that's actually not bad. Because if they stop colonizing, it means I can blitz down and get all this colonized. Yeah, Britain has just stopped colonizing over here. That gives us a huge advantage over this. That means we can probably snag all of this, to be honest. Ooh, this is actually really good for us. See, this state, what does this state got? Overview has got malaria, this state's got malaria, he he has malaria. So we'll expand everywhere. I know that slows it down overall, but or, or no, maybe it doesn't do overall. I think it's just the same speed. Because I think that'll give us more population faster. How much population is in this state? So that's another mill. So once we get that, that'll make us, you know, colonize even faster. And we'll just start to ramp up. If we can continue to take all of these states in Ethiopia, that'll be good. Because now, like I say, it's always just population with this game. That's always like the biggest hindrance. Oh, France has connected the uh, Mediterranean to the Atlantic down here. Not bad. So France is doing their colonization, I'm doing mine, Britain's doing theirs. We're the big three colonization powers of the world. We're so cool. Prussia's getting dumped on, and I bet you, France does not see it through to the end, even though they are winning this war. They're gonna white peace with Prussia, let them keep all their stuff, and it's just gonna continue to be what it is. Prussia's gonna make another uh, German unification launch at some point, and then France isn't gonna be involved. Or no, they probably will. They'll just do it and they'll annex more people and it'll continue on until they have everything, but they still don't have Alsace. Brazilian assistance. Uh oh. Oh, Brazil an obligation. Sure, Brazil, I'll owe you an obligation. Brazil, even if I could come to your help, I can't. Are you dumb? I guess I could go through Britain or something. Oh well. Still have isolationism, which is still stupid, but I don't know how to fix it. Our expansion shall know no limits. We're kind of like a big line just straight down the middle of Africa. Kind of cool. Porcelain tax, let's go. 69 prestige, let's go. Where does that put us on the list? Right behind Persia. Not bad, I like that. Oh, you have a higher GDP than them and higher standard of living. Just a much, much lower population. How much would it cost to take Welga now? Let's see. Only 12? What's our infamy right now? Four, let's do it. More conquest, more expansion, more imperialism. Let's do it. Now, oh, we could actually call people to our side. Not bad. I don't think we need it, but we have it. Just in case. Sidamo. Sway with transfer states. Hell no. Sway with transfer states. What is, what is Sidamo's? 555. What's my power? 1000. Yeah, sure, bud. You do that. I could add Conquer State of Sidamo for 20 infamy. That's a lot. Did I get anybody else in, who is this? Gojam? I don't want to give you this. I, I just don't. Okay, so I can fight this war by myself. I just need to create a second army. So we'll create one here. And take from this, we'll basically just take this dude and probably 10 line infantry. Confirm that, that fixes that. And then he can just go on defensive duties here until we can beat them. That works. And then we can fight Sadamo afterwards. What can, I, what can I add to hurt Sadamo? Make them a tributary for 20 infamy. It's a lot of infamy. We could chill for a bit after that, and that would make us quite a bit more powerful. France doesn't care, do they? France is neutrality, and Britain. Does Britain... 
Britain? How's Britain feel about both of us? And Britain wants neutrality as well. So I think I could probably take Sadamo as a tributary, to be honest. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. I'll wait for this hit 75 and then do it just so our infamy is a little bit less. Or, oh, oh, we get a agrarianism progress. So 79, there we go. Let's add Wargo, let's make them a tributary state. So these guys will get smashed and then we'll punch in here and then we'll just win. Okay, that's how this works. You just play defense in the meantime. They'll hit us a few times, we'll weaken them because, you know, defensive is stronger than offensive. And I'm also gonna add another general here just so we can go a little bit faster with our pushes. It's all about speed right here. All right, let's see them push and how effective it is. Um, it's gonna be pretty effective, we'll hurt them. This'll be over shortly and then they'll come over. Yep, they're almost done. We might lose like one or two battles here, but once we come over here, we'll win that. Just hold out a little bit longer, my friend. There we go. Now they're coming over and somehow they're coming over as well. Hmm, that wasn't supposed to happen. They're running irregulars and line infantry. We should win this in the long run, I do believe. Huh, I might need to play defense for a second. Because once they fall out of the war, that's, you know, another 1.6k that's just not in the war. Yeah, they're just still trying to send troops to help. Okay. So now, let me wait a little bit. Let me get some troops built back up. I'm going to move these guys back to my other army, however long that takes. And they'll hold defensive until that happens. All right, looks like it may have already happened, actually. Oh, I think I just only moved uh, the, the guy over, not the actual troops. There we go. All right, so 20k, why are we losing manpower? We need to be gaining manpower. We're paying them all, so let's uh, let me make sure that these are working correctly. And eh, not really. Okay, so we need to hold for a bit. Which ones are capital state? They're not getting troops in, like, back at all. Should I just push? Should I just push? Let's push with this dude so he crashes in with, like, everybody. And then we lose our numbers advantage because we're dumb. 20 on 17. Why do you have more defense? Stop it. Oh, looks like we're going to win that, actually. Okay, not bad, not bad. We're losing our numbers advantage. Ah, uh, we did that push, and now we're going to chill again. All right, now we have advantage again. We're going to push again. Which one? Is this their capital? Let me see which one's their capital. Oh, that is their capital. So we just need to take that one state and we're good. Are we actually hiring new troops? Or is just nobody getting hired? Why you hire troops so slow? Damn. All right, let's push again. Are you my best offensive dude? Not really. Surveyor, so home offense and home defense. Just push, we should be able to win, I think. Yeah, we got it. If we just take the state, we'll win, and then we don't have to fight anymore, and we just, we'll be good. Oh, uh, we gotta fight again. Still have advantage. This should be enough to win it. We've taken a lot more casualties than I really want to, but I think we should be okay. Perfect, okay. Stop wasting troops. Yep, that's it. Just gotta wait a little bit longer and we've got the dub. Now we've like really expanded. <laughs> Things are going super good for us right now. Still don't have any like sea access, which, you know, sucks, but we should get it soon. Why are we losing now? Huh? Okay, but we're, we have our war goal. This game's tripping right now. We lose 2.4, they lose 5. I am confused, man. I don't know why we're both losing. I'm very much the one winning, but okay. If you say so, let's get this peace deal done. Boom, Sadamo is mine now. And that somehow didn't bring my prestige back up. Let's go look at all this. All this is mine now, that's beautiful. How much are they paying me? 1.8k, not bad, not bad, not bad. And uh, come on, our prestige should go up because we have this, but I, I guess not. This has got to hire more people before we get our uh, prestige back, I guess. And it's not hiring very fast at all. Employment, still insignificant. There, okay, there's peasants here. Sounds like we need to start building some stuff here. I should open the borders. I can't yet. Government, industrialists are gaining power, but not enough yet. I need the industrialists to have more power. Let's not build another construction sector here. Let my investment pool continue to build stuff. Is this incorporated yet? Eight months to incorporation. 
I believe at that point we will have an absolute ton of, well not a ton, we'll have even faster uh, colonization. We are infamous though right now, which is a, is a little bit bad for us. Information is Sadamo, they're loyal. Huh, interesting, I didn't think they'd actually be loyal. Works for me though. Six months till incorporation here, that's another 1.4 mil, which is probably enough to give us two ticks more in colonization speed. Number 22 GDP worldwide. That is really good. Let's see here. Buildings, rural folk. Huh, sure, let's do that. Let's make more coal. Yep, 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 yep. I'm just gonna start building more stuff. Steel, can we? We could probably do some stuff with steel at this point. All right, things are working out really well right now. Number 41 worldwide, 69 prestige. Not bad. It's 30, they've got 369 military power. We've got 787 just because uh, we're still waiting on a lot of our barracks to continue to hire. I guess I built another construction sector. We'll just keep building until we run out of surplus. And that'll also let us use our investment pool to build stuff instead of just doing it ourselves, which will save us even more money in the long run. Also, we need more bureaucratic buildings. Nine mil. Dude, this is going fantastic for us. Acholi. French Senegal. Huh. That's a brand new nation. Brand new nation just dropped. Sokoto still colonizing an air. That's still wild to me that they would do that. How much longer till this is? Oh, it is incorporated. Let's go. We colonize even faster now, which means we grow even faster now. All is going well. And we're almost to railways, too. That'll be really good once we get that. What are this? Jingana? Oh, they just want to... They just want to be militaristic. That's fine. Can we get off isolationism yet? Okay, we're close. If we can get the armed forces and the industrialists in the government. Armed forces right here, maybe that'll give us enough because we got to get off isolationism. Right here, 6% chance we'll try it. Ooh, industrialists. Yes, yes, yes. If we can get that, we will be in such good shape. Let's move over to iron frame buildings. Actually, no, let's not do that because that'll cost 15,000. That's a lot. Bureaucratic buildings. I guess we can stick one here. We'll pick, we'll put two there. That should work. It's not incorporated, but it'll need to be eventually. So like, who cares? 81 prestige. You know, if we keep expanding like we're doing, we may be able to get to major power. That would be really nice. All right, reputations come back down again. I feel like at this point it might be worth it to try and make Gujam a tributary state and then just annex them later. I think that might be the play next. Look at our, uh, don't don't look at the, uh, the fact that nothing has access, but look at our market. This is everything we have control over. Oh, Egypt is in the French market. Oh, ew, Austrian market, gross. Well, Mexico got cucked by the US again. Same as always. Heavenly Kingdom still exists over here. Uh, this has all been the same. This has been the same forever. Western Australia. Huh? Ew! American Australia? Fucking gross. All right, we're gonna keep our eyes over here because I don't want to see any more BS like that anytime soon. Come on, keep succeeding. Don't fail. Failing is for losers. More migration attraction. That's cool. If only I was in somebody's market to take advantage of that. We're just wrapping around the British. Famous cafe. Ooh. Um, this one, I think. That might be right, might be wrong. Who knows? I'm kind of shocked that our uh, standard of living is still so high compared to everybody else. Like we're number 14 in the world. Crooked connections. Ooh, enactment time down. Minus 20. Okay. Not bad, not bad. We need more population. Number 28 worldwide. We need like 25 million more people to be number 10 spot. I'd love to be number 10 spot. I don't know if it's gonna happen or not though. Yeah, I've just noticed, I think, uh, I think there's a few bugs here. Apparently I'm a revolutionary prefix Acholi. I don't know what that means, but hey, I love being revolutionary prefix. They put prefix in all capital letters, so it must be important. We've almost stamped out the monarchism, but uh, we also haven't. Who knows? Oh, standard of living just dropped. Why did that happen? Huh? We'll just cut some taxes. That'll fix it, right? We'll keep tobacco tax. What do we do after railways? Let's go ahead and start planning out our next move. Hmm. Ooh, that'll be nice once that's done. Military. Honestly, maybe. 
I think society is probably just the way to go. Currency standards, we do law enforcement and we get banking. I think we do banking next so we can get into the tier two society reforms. How's our reputation doing? 9.5, we're almost at a point where we can keep expanding. Looks like this colony is almost finished. We can go down into hee hee. Do we have the highest GDP province in Africa? I think we do. So this one is, what's this GDP? GDP, four mil. Up here, how much is this one? Uh, 4.9 mil, so that one's higher and Tunis is lower. So I think we have the second highest one. Second highest GDP state in Africa is really good. There's railways, let's do it. Now if we just get protectionism and not isolationism, we'll be in such good shape. Okay, so you, I want you to build, oh, never mind. We, oh, motor industry, yep, there it is. You build that after a hundred weeks, god damn. Okay, and then this one will need a, um, a railway after that. It's gonna take absolutely forever to build because I've actually, uh, I'm letting my boys use the construction. But, you know, they need to because we got three million in the investment pool. They're actually doing something with it this time, which is, you know, quite good. I'm happy with that. But that also means that I can't build what I want yet, and I'm sad. Oh, it's adoption, all right. What is the chance that this fails? 20 on stall with one setback, we should be okay. Can I reduce the autonomy of Sadamo yet? Uh, March 16th, 78, so two more years. Oh, really one and a half until we can reduce that autonomy. We still have a lot of tax waste, which is still a problem. 38th best power in the world. Who are we in leagues with? The Netherlands. Hey yo, Netherlands. Ah, presidential oligarchy. Okay, whatever. Hey, look, it's just like what I said earlier. Prussia's still big, France is trying to beat them up. Same thing as always. Moving on to banking. They're doing law enforcement, so we'll pass, you know, swap between those two. Really need more bureaucracy because we're getting a lot of people. People, people, people. Hey, we're finally getting this one state here. I can't believe it took you this long, but you did it. 46% chance, so one more setback and we're screwed, but the chance of that, yeah, pretty low. 46% chance to pass, 19 to stall, and 33 to debate. We should get this. If not, I'm going to, uh, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Probably say something racist. Okie dokie. Reputation, reputation, we're reputable. Honestly, I'd like to reduce Sadamo's, uh, what's it called, autonomy before I really get and do anything else. Because I know Gajam won't put up that much of a fight. Their power's 412, mine's over a thousand. We'll be okay. Egypt, Egypt. I have Egypt as a buddy. Why? Okay, I, hmm. I'm, I'm suspicious, Egypt, as to what you've done. Hey, look, Long Morocco. I haven't seen that in forever. Actually, not even in forever. I've just never seen that because it never happens. Protectionism, let's go. Yes, finally. We got rid of that god-awful isolationism. Per capita taxation, let's do this one. Everybody likes it, 6% and 90%. Can I change up the government? No, so we're just gonna hope that it goes through. Everybody likes it, so maybe. We got lucky with 6% last time, we'll get lucky with 6% again this time. Okay, so now we can actually trade with people. Shocking, I know that we made it to 1877 without trading at all. Let's see what we need. Okay, honestly, maybe not the best idea to do that yet. Ah, huh, French market. Do they have access to the French market? I don't know if they have access. North German market, damn. Oh, they are the North German Federation now. Ah, huh, cool. We don't even have... I, did, I just noticed that the... Uh, the the guys are gone the the boats i don't remember what they're called convoys yeah we got no convoys let us see what shall we do take a treaty port in isake conquer state for 12 for 27 for 22. or i can make a protector for 20. what am i now 3.4 so i could do that reasonably i might i might do that just for more money coming into the government Make tributary. Let's do it. Oh, our colony finished. That means we're gonna start colonizing all this even faster. Or we could also colonize down here. 
Yep, let's do that. We're just colonizing everything with this big long snake all the way through Africa. 9.9 .9 mil. Let's go. Almost 10 mil. Number 38th in the world. I think we make another tributary state. Gojam! Gojam will be mine. They will belong to me. We're still reputable. And I don't think they can really put up a fight. At least not against us. They may be willing to get involved and help. Oh, just our one buddy. Okay, let's get to getting. Kill them too. Legislative failures. Dang. Already. Off to a bad start. If we can get lucky though. If we can get lucky, you get like a 2 plus 10% chance that you'll probably get it. What does Sadamo want to join? Transfer state obligation. I mean, I could, but I want to uh, decrease their autonomy here in a little bit, so not yet. I can handle this by myself. These dudes, they're all irregulars. They can't do anything. You'll be the attack dude, everybody else just be the defense, because you'll attack with more troops than they will, and then we'll just crush them. Sounds like a plan to me. Actually, I could probably just turn everybody on to offense and we just crush them instantly. We'll try that. That way we make a bunch of separate different fronts. Oh, they're not even going to be able to put up a fight. They have no morale. Their morale is this non-existent. Oh, so we're not even going to take like hardly any casualties in this fight either. Nice. Excellent. Why do we have a new front? Oh, I see. Get over there, faster, faster than they can. And then we'll push before they can even get there. They're walking, they're walking, they're walking to the front. They're walking, they're dead. GG, I win. <laughs> Victory. Uh, demobilization. We've already won, so we don't really need a mobilized. Everybody go back home. Temporary embracement. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that. Now Gusham will be mine and we still have no sea access. So we're still great, I guess. 10 mil. Let's go 10 mil. 10 mil club. Let's go. Only 23 people in the world, and I'm one of them. 26% chance. It's going to take a while, but I think that might be enough to actually get it. Make you a protectorate or a tributary. We're going to tribute all over the floor. Boom. We got them too. Even more money coming into the government. Means I can keep taxes low, and we can continue to build stuff. Almost got the railway done. Hey, I can reduce autonomy now. Will they accept? 43% chance to accept. Ah, I'd like to be a little bit more powerful before I did that. So, how about we do this? Units, uh, job seekers. Oh, does this no longer take infrastructure? That's actually really good. I didn't realize that was the case anymore. Run down the bandit. Ooh, yeah, we already had tax waste. More industrialists. They have more clout. It's not enough yet though. Man, land days. Ooh, 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 that's a good one. That's a good one. I can do this now and this. We need more fertilizer. Understood. So, uh, I guess we can build more. No job seekers. Huh. That's a small problem. We can import from Britain or France. Let's do it from France. Does that fix it? Uh, not yet. Hmm. We might just not be able to do that yet. Yeah, I don't think we can do that yet, unfortunately. So we'll just cancel that trade route also. Dang, number nine for standard of living. That's still like wild to me that even after all this, we're still just that high in standard of living. It's beautiful. We don't even have like any tech whatsoever. We're just a big, long African nation down here doing Africa stuff. Just continuing to expand down here. I don't know why Britain stopped uh, colonizing down here, but I will take it. Zanzibar is colonizing. Sure thing, buddy, you do that. I believe in you. Number 22. I wish I could see who else was like around me in GDP. Okay, actually I can. Sweden, Romania, we're above Romania and Portugal, but they have way more prestige than we do. Hmm, I think I should just start building up. Oh, I guess I already am building up my military to uh, get more prestige. I'd love to be a major power. If I could make these guys a major power, that would be excellent. Let's build. Let's see, do I queue the, this or I think I just go with the railway next. A hundred weeks. This only costs five, so we'll just do those two first. But a hundred weeks, sir? What are you talking about? I think we go higher taxes up here, and then we build another. We shift this over to iron frame, and then we cry as we lose all our money. There we go. Now we can build faster. Spanking, even more money coming in. 
Like I say, all we really need now is just more people. If we had more people, we'd be fantastic. 5.92 mil, number 28 in the world. We could be doing so much better with more people. 48% chance to accept. I want that to be higher before trying that. I want that to be 100% or like 99% because I don't really want to fight them. That'd be sad. How long is this going to take? Only 60 weeks. That's so much better. If I could get into the British market still, that would really... I'd be able to steal so many people away from their colony down here. Actually, how is my... uh? Yeah, I'd be able to take so many people from here. I'd love to do that. I wonder if we can get into the French market. Oh, they have economic imperialism. Hmm. I could take people from Egypt. Dude, I could. I could totally do that. Steal people from the Blue Nile. I'd have to, like, actually allow some form of, uh, migration, though, which is a small problem, as we're still trying to pass this. Dang, can you, like, I don't know, just, like, work with me, please? Continuously up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. This next one's gonna be down, right? How do I know that? Can I pass any type of voting reform now? Industrialists. And I'd love to put the industrialists in charge. I'd, I'd love to do that, but like, I can't. So we're stuck trying to pass this over and over and over and over until it passes. All right, we got some railways going down now. It's still gonna take forever to build, but once it does, it should give us quite a bit more money. At least I believe it will. 30 weeks. That's not bad. I can live with that. I can live with 30 weeks. How goes the rest of the world? France is still colonizing. Germany's a thing, except they're only North Germany. Why are they not normal Germany? Who knows? Uh, legislative failure. It's, it's dead. This bill's dead in the water. I'm not gonna try and pass it anymore. Okay, so what's the problem here? We need voting reform. That's what we need. We gotta get this, so let's find a way that'll work. That'll work. While we try and pass, we'll turn the law down and we'll try and get landed voting because we gotta get these guys out of the government. They're clogging up everything all at once. Just incongruent. Are there any agitators? I Potential for one agitator, but there's no agitators. I can't get any. Invite, because we have state religion. Yay. What even is our state religion? I don't even know. Where do I even find that? Animist. Huh. Cool. Migration attraction more radical or just don't. Let's just let's just don't. Dang, they hate me. What I do to you, ho? You an asshole? Man, I really want this to be done. Sent in the exile by Russia. Too bad I can't bring him in. Let's go. Six mil. Six mil people. I need this railway to be done. We'll fix our infrastructure issues forever and ever. We need to keep building. Three, two, one. I think this is going incredibly slow. Yeah, I know, I know. We need those. I need to go import them, but we do have uh, this about to start making them. So I think we'll be okay. Right, so he's gonna make those out of steel. Uh, we might have to import steel because I don't think we're making any ourselves from the French and British, I think. All right, 50% enactment success chance, 35%. I might just turn my taxes down just to get this passed a little bit faster. It's not enough, so 47. Uh, 190 days per voting process, that's so much. All right, this has almost been fixed. Excellent. All right, more loyalists. We kind of needed that, to be honest. Our, our radicals are getting a little high. Not not like too, too awful, but just a little bit high. Okay, I think that's infrastructure problems fixed here. Am I right? Nope, not quite. Yet a little bit more to get fixed. All right, this penalty's going down. That should fix it slowly. Uh, road maintenance anywhere else? I guess up here would probably be needed. A little bit. The problem is like everywhere I go, people already all have jobs. I need more bureaucracy. There we go, 51% chance. So it's gonna take forever, but we'll get it passed. Eventually. Standard of living's dropping, which is a little bit sad. We had really high there for a bit, but not anymore. Reduce autonomy, can I do that to them yet? Nope, they think they're stronger now. Look out, we got a badass coming through. <sighs> all right, so once we get the general staff, we can probably trade off. I'd like to do a trade agreement with somebody. I could join the British Customs Union. Oh, problem is I have my own subjects and apparently you're not allowed to do that because 
You can't bring your subjects into somebody else's market. Wow, that's stupid. Change that. That's dumb. All right, how much am I losing on wasted taxes? About 600. So I think I can build a... Oh, we get rubber. Well, not yet, but we can get rubber. I don't feel like we've expanded much, but, you know, I guess we have. You know, all this is us now. How's our military looking? 45, we have a thousand power projection. I need to get up to the next mill tech, because that'll give me a lot more respect amongst my peers. Central Archives would be good next also, and this would also be good. How oh, much longer until I can reduce their autonomy in Gojam? 83, 42% chance. I could probably start building up my military a bit more. All right, landed voting. Let's get a good event this time so we can actually pass. 10% chance to stall, 31 to advance, 50 to succeed. This should pass once we get there. It's going to take forever. Give me a time reduction one, please. Okay, okay, it moved on. I guess we're gonna wait like, I don't know, two more years before this gets passed. It's gonna be in debate for years. Yay. So we got the three big boys in charge of the government. Thing. We're just going to completely surround Britain's, uh, colony. Huh. This might be one of the best colonization nations there are. Because we cut them off here, we'll be able to push into here, so we'll... We pretty much have dibs on, like, all of this. It's not bad. Alright, bureaucratic building, get built. That should fix this problem, our tax waste. Yep. Okay, and then... We can start building up more military, I believe. There we go. Queue up about 15 more. We must be respected on the world stage. I'd really like to snag Zanzibar, to be honest. That'd be a nice little addition, but I can't get there quite yet. They've got 20 battalions. Pathetic. How many do I got? 46? We're actually not too bad, all things considered, power projection. You, you know, I'm just realizing I have the second Acholi army and the third Acholi army, but I do not have the first. I don't know where it went. It must have fallen down somewhere. All right, you guys. We're gonna be skirmishers. We're gonna promote everybody to skirmishers, and then we're gonna import bullets from people. The Major team? Do they have any? Oh well. Okay, so we're importing that. What does that make my power projection? It is shooting up. Gonna reduce their autonomy now. 51% chance. We still need a little bit more. They're all porting over. Sure, we'll take some from Major team. I don't think we have enough for everything though. Um, okay, now can we reduce autonomy? 58% chance. I'd like to do more than that. Like, I really, really would. This is the biggest Sokoto I've ever seen. Like, legitimately the biggest Sokoto. Reduce autonomy. 59% chance. I really want that to be higher. Why is yours so high? You, you're only 641. I'm like, triple you. I guess I could do Gojam first and then that would add to me. Only 60. How big do you think you is, sir? 853, why are you stronger? What the hell? Whatever, I'm still going up a little bit, but not really. I've converted just about everything over to skirmishers. Uh, I mean, there's nine in construction, but that's not really gonna matter much. 61%. We could probably do it. I don't think anybody would get involved is the thing. It's more than likely they do submit. Let me get this guy built first. Hmm. Still 61%. I'd really like them to just give in without fighting. Like, I really would. I do not want to fight them. Like, legitimately, I do not want to fight them. 62%. Uh, it's not high enough to really risk it is the thing. Try again. 62. Why is it gotta be that way? They're both 62. They both think they're just, like, on the same level. I guess I just go for it, like, 63%. I will win the fight. Like, that's not a problem. We got the skirmish infantry, we'll demolish them. I just don't really want to fight them. This should go our way. We got good relations with everybody. We'll do it. God damn it. You ho. You a ho. You a ho. I will crush you. You will not win this battle. I don't know why you think you will, but you will not win this battle. It's not happening. You're going to become my puppet, whether you like it or not. Man, I could go broke in, the, in this process. I really wish you could use your uh, maneuvers to speed up this, like trade in my 80 to just like get it going faster. I can't call anybody else in just because it takes so long to do this. They, they like to pretend that this is diplomacy going on, but it's not. It's just me wanting to steal people stuff. What's my offense? Offense is 27. 
They have a defense of 36. Why? You don't have skirmishers. You have line infantry, sir. You ain't got no 36 defense. Are you lying to me? Huh? From elite? Huh? What is elite? What? I guess I can do that. What is elite? Since when is that a thing? Elite. Give some... How? Huh? Where do you get this from? Once it gains enough, it increases unit... What? Where do I see this? I didn't know that was a thing. Huh. Well, I'm about to get cooked. But if I kill enough of them, they're not going to be able to replenish, so I should still just win. I'm going to promote you, and you're going to just play defense. So we do big attacks. No small attacks. We're going to crush them. There we go. I'm going to have to look into this. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know you could get elite units. How did Sadamo get elite units? Did he just leave them mobilized? Is that just a thing you can do? I'm so confused. You think you know a guy. Ooh, an Eggman success just. We got 90% chance to pass after, like, debating for 20 years. The, we'll call this the decade bill. It took a goddamn decade to pass. All right, well, we had to kill all their troops, but we won. Yay. All right, if we just push further, will this end this war faster? Yeah, it looks like it. There we go, Sadamo's going down. From a technical standpoint, I really don't think I should continue to push anymore as I'm just killing my own people at this point. So we will halt progression until they're willing to submit. Reduced autonomy. Peace steal, and they're mine now, and they're the same color. Let's go. I guess I'll turn my taxes up a little bit. Cool. Can I do the same to Sadamo now? 29% chance. What do you mean 29? Sir, you're going to get demolished if you try this. All right, we got land voting, finally. And they're still gonna be, you know, the ones in charge. Of course, of course. I should have expected this. But now he's the chancellor, so why don't I get to keep him in charge, Baba Wee? Hey, I've got a border with Zanzibar. Hmm. Okay, I make them into a tributary state and then we would have water access. Uh, should I just import? Why does Majertine have so much stuff that I need? All right, Gojam, you still think you're too good to be incorporated? They do. They do. They do still think that. Wow. Modern sewage, let's go. Does that fix a lot of our uh, problems? It, it actually does. It fixes almost all of them. Huh, cool. All right, so no more infrastructure problems. They have a few authority problems. 13 days till the election. Um, huh. It's because they own the land. Sad. Righty. Hmm, I can still have this much? Huh, okay. Can I get some damn migration going? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Migration controls. Let's let people migrate. We'll pull them off from Sadamo and Gujam. How's my reputation looking? Still reputable. We're at zero, baby. Britain, we'll keep improving relations with you. And then I think I should just snag Zanzibar. They've only got 21. What's my military power? Ooh, it's, it's huge now. Hmm. Oh, this state's small. Huh, I could snag it. Or should I snag Zanzibar? I cannot. Oh, I, they like me. Why do they like me? Hmm, I didn't want that to happen. I'm a expel day diplomat. And then I'm gonna conquer them. Sorry, but that's just how it goes. They have a trade agreement with Austria. That could be a problem, actually. Maybe I won't do that. What's Gilded you got? Anybody? Alliance with Hejaz. Really? What's Hejaz got? Nothing. Is it, wait, Hejaz is free? No, they're a tributary. Who could I conquer now? Tributary states, Isaki. I could conquer states. Can I reduce the autonomy here? 61% chance. Is my military built back up yet all the way? Mm, it might be. Looks like it is. Let's reduce their autonomy now. 58%. Maybe they'll give in. No. That would be silly. Mobilize the troops and send them in. You know, I'm realizing now we have completely cut off Britain from colonizing down here anymore. They're doing it over here in the big, uh... Is that the French? Ah, oh, they're fighting the French. Yeah, they're doing it over here where there's like big malaria. So they're getting basically screwed out of stuff that they usually get. Diplomatic packs, I get 7,000? Dang, I get 4,000 from Sidamo. And I'm probably gonna get the same from Gujam. That'd be really nice to have some extra money lying around especially with a military as big as my own. 34th in the world, we're at 140 prestige. We're on the same level as the Sikh Empire and Portugal. Portugal gets to be number 19 because they're a recognized power. <laughs> and yeah, you're 
gonna get crushed. I didn't know what you thought was gonna happen here, but now you're dead. Very smart of you. Yep, crush him. Rousing speech, let's go. 71% to pass. And it only takes 90 days for this one to go. Thank goodness. You guys hurry up, take the state, please. Thank you. All right, all right, you know what, well, you know what? We're gonna just shift into advancement. Let's keep going, crush them everywhere. There's several different states to attack, so attack them all. You attacked with one person. You're fired. You attacked with two. Why are you so bad at this? Do you know how little troops they have and you're attacking with one person at a time? Are you dumb? Are you dense? Did you have your nuts shoved in a fence? More bureaucracy. Let's go. Big bureaucracy time. Bureaucracies are fixed. 50 defense. Why you got so much goddamn defense? Are you, are you elite units too? Huh? Yeah, shut up. I don't care. There's legitimately like 1,000 of you. Die already. Why are you attacking with 300? Under no circumstances shall you ever attack with that few troops. You're an imbecile. Oh, we got the player right. Yes. 35, it was enough to take us one spot. Damn. I was hoping it would be more than that, but it basically locks us into this position. Uh, so now we're even further behind. Oh, okay, we'll get more. Yeah, we'll get more once this war is over because we've taken quite a few casualties. They have 3,000, just crush them already. Ah, uh, where have I seen this break in the action before? We have, huh? What? Okay, so you're gonna go and attack the state that has nothing in it, I see. Good thinking. There's no one here, I don't know. This should just instantly fall to me. They don't have anybody. Why are you taking forever? Just push in. Thank you. All right, which one do I need to get? Right here. All right, time to slam in them again. <sighs> Yippee, I sure do love the combat. All right, crush them, kill them, stick them in a stew. Legitimately, you have like 6,000 troops. How are you still pulling troops up? And you guys, why are you only attacking with 1,000 when I tell you to attack? Do not attack with 1,000 ever. You attack with more troops than they have on defense or you don't attack at all, okay? That's how this works. Do not go into even odds battles. That's stupid. Come on, end this stupid war. We got 75%, so one more battle, this battle ends, we've got it. We've lost so much prestige from this stupid battle that I shouldn't have had to fight, but they decided, I'm actually just as strong as you are. I'm, I'm gonna beat you up if you try to do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt you in a way that you've never been hurt before. I'm like, all right, gee, that's nice. How about a gun? Minus 18, God damn. All right, we're gonna demobilize. That didn't do anything. So it looks like we have to take taxes up. God damn it. All right, you ready to give up? You ready to give up? Give up, give up. Thank you. No more freedom for you. All right, let's get all this fixed. Oh, don't need anything here. We don't need resource gathering here and we don't need social mobility here. We need, what do, what do we need? I need a tax to fix our stupid stuff. Why are we losing so much? Oh, it's all because of interest. Thank you, Gojam, for your stupidity. Highly appreciated. Thank you. All right, so now we sit here until we get all that fixed. How much do we get from Diplomatic Pack? So an extra 2,000 per. We're basically, yeah, just that small nudge. That's what we were fighting for. You gonna be a little dick next time, hmm? Yeah, you should have just given in. Decided instead you wanted to fight everything. So now you get to not fight anything. Good job, good job. All right, so now we wait for our military power to come back up and then we get to see how strong we actually are. So uh, yeah, it's gonna take us a bit to get everybody back in here. And we're losing money again. Why are we losing money? Subsidies, why? No, don't subsidize anything. Don't want you to subsidize. Just be profitable normally, okay? Okay, and you'll make this so you become profitable. And there, okay, that should fix some of that. Nope, we're still losing money. Okay, so I guess the wages gotta come down. Nope, it's not even that. Why am I still losing money? I shouldn't be losing this money. Why? Okay, so military wages are going back up. Do I need to just... Here, I'm gonna drop that. I'm gonna drop that. I'm trying not to spend a ton. It's this interest that's really killing us right now. We accumulated way too much interest to kill Gojam. Oh, okay. I guess we gotta go high taxes. Yay. Nope, never mind. It's gonna... It's gonna... Why? It, it's just because everybody's getting hired. Yeah, pretty much. Hmm, okay, time to fix some stuff then. Market, can I export that to the French? 
What else can I export? This and that. All right, we're not gonna get any of this fixed if it continues to be like this. We have high taxes and it's still broken. Okay, so decrees. We're removing more decrees to add more consumption taxes. <clears throat> we're gonna fix the interest problem and then we're gonna be good. All right, so now we sit and we wait till everything goes good again. All right, so that was our prestige looking. We're right behind two Sicilies. We're past Java and Portugal, head of the Sikh Empire. I mean, nowhere near Britain or Germany or Austria, and they're fighting again because he's still trying to get Alsace over and over and over. We'll get migration controls. Then I don't exactly know what we do, to be honest. Oh no, that's the evil amount of people. We can't have that many people. Come on, give us some more people. We gotta, we gotta fix that. Otherwise we're going to hell. Oh no. Dang, this recording is three hours and 30 minutes long already. This is a lot of time. Okay. We need an end goal, quickly, before we run out of time and space on my computer to record. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, did we finish that colony? Ah, hee <laughs> hee. We must colonize, hee <laughs> hee. I want to get a port somewhere. We must have access to the sea. Well, this is slowly getting fixed, thankfully, finally. The interest is going down, slowly. Nitroglycerin! What are we doing with that? Hey, migration controls, people can move around now. And people are leaving there to go here. Understood. And these are bringing in a ton of people. Trade agreement with Britain. Could I join their customs union? No, they do not want me. Uh, also, I couldn't do that anyway because I got these two guys and they're like, yay, you know, whatever. Okay, so I think we damage relations with Asa. We expel their diplomats. We check our reputation. We are reputable, still, with 10. And we make a play to make Asa a tributary state. That way, we have access to the sea, and my grand plan will be completed. And then we let Sadamo do all the fighting for us, so we don't have to pay money. Yay! All right, looks like this is starting to get fixed. I wonder if 11 million GDP just from all these nations down in Africa. Honestly, Acholi? Secretly becoming one of my favorite nations to play. This has been one of the more fun runs I've done in a very long time. There you go, Sadamo. Fight my wars for me. Yay. Oh, they back down. <laughs> right at the last second. Cool, that means our market has access to the ocean! Let's go! Finally! We have sea access. We did it. We're the best. Okay! Um, with that, I'm about to run out of recording space, so unfortunately the run has to come to an end here. But honestly, this is actually becoming one of my favorite nations to play as. I did not realize just how easy it would be to expand from a, the very beginning. Because taking over all those beginning states is like really, really easy to do. And then being able to just colonize everything for basically for free. Like, I still have a ton of colonization I could do down here. Yeah, all the way down like to here. So I'm only halfway to what I could do. All of this, that could also be mine. All of this, that could easily be mine. This could be mine basically for nothing. And by the time I get all that, I can probably punch Egypt, take some of their stuff. Same down here, punch Portugal, take all their stuff, take all these. Like, I could absolutely see that being a completely valid strategy. Uh, I can't really play any longer. I gotta get this video edited, as it's also been almost four hours of recording. I don't know if you believe that or not, but four hours? I have been standing here playing Victoria 3 for the past four hours, and I am tired. So, since we're continuing to rate nations, I'm gonna actually give Acholi an 8 out of 10. This is a very fun nation, and I'm actually looking forward to playing uh, Bugandi, I believe was the nation that was down here that we ate like super early on. Uh, that'll be fun once we actually get to that, but that is going to conclude this episode. Let me leave you off with a cool, beautiful little screen right here. Just look at everything that we've done. Ah, it is beautiful, but that is going to conclude this episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next episode of Victoria 3 A to Z. Goodbye.